very, very careful when you're driving around yeah. and just be aware of what's happening and the amount of water that is on the street. That's insane. Well, we are all familiar with the Tucson Museum of Art, but did you know that they also offer free arts education to over 20,000 students a year? Well, if you didn't know that, we're going to learn all about the programs the Tucson Museum of Art offers and how you can get involved. We welcome Morgan Wells and Harry Hackinson. Welcome, guys. How are you today? Good. How are Good. You? Thank you. Good. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'm glad you braved the rain yeah. to get yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> it's an adventure. <laughs> yeah, right? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, Tucson Museum of Art and the docents, I mean, what, what do they do there and what, what's their function? So the docents, uh, they're volunteers and they act um, as assistants to the education department. They give school tours, they go out to our schools and do in-school projects with children, they go into our hospitals, they give uh, lectures out to the communities, they do a lot of stuff. They even assist with our um, visitor service desk, so if you come in and you have questions, they're there to help you. That's so cool. So they really need to be trained on a multitude of different topics and subjects yes. and programs. Definitely. So how does that work? Yes. Well, the program focuses on uh, three areas, art history, um, and the, uh, learning about our permanent collection and historic properties, and then touring techniques that we use uh, when we're touring. That's fantastic. And if someone wants to get involved with this, how, what's the process to, to get, apply and to get accepted? Well, September 17th at 10 in the morning at the museum, we're having a docent coffee. It's nice. an informational meeting to learn about uh, the program and the various opportunities that we have to interact with the public and serve the museum. Mm -hmm. nice. Well, let's talk about some of the other programs. You know, what does it really take? I mean, do you have to have a love of art? Can you just be interested in it? You know, how much experience do you need to come to the table with? <laughs> yes, Harry, you're up. <laughs> okay. um, well, first of all, you don't have to have an art degree or an art background, simply an interest in art. Mm -hmm. I think uh, a willingness to um, to meet new people, mm -hmm. um, a willingness to have fun, uh, a willingness to learn. Now, you two, I think, uh, have a good time, right? We do. I mean, you, you have fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tons of fun. I have applications with me that I'll give to you, and if I can find the executive producer, I'll see if I can get you Thursdays He's off. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that would be great. Yeah. I would appreciate that. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Well, I mean, it's such an educational experience for people. It is. You know, it's kind of like a graduate seminar. We have um, guest speakers from the University of Arizona. We have people from the uh, Pima Community College. And, um, of course, our wonderful uh, Tucson Museum of Art curators mm -hmm. do a lot with us. Mm -hmm. And then we have other docents that might have a particular expertise that uh, help us out as yeah. well. Mm. Oh, we do a lot of field trips. Yes. Well, I was gonna—I was just gonna mention that because at the top of the show, I said over twenty thousand students a year. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's talk about those. Pro I mean, those are some really yeah. big numbers. Yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And docents are crucial to making that happen, because um, at the museum we only have um, me and another part-time person in the education department, so we can't do everything, and mm -hmm. we of course cannot serve that many people. So we rely heavily on the docents. Um, they do all of our field trips that come into the museum. They ha assist in all of our family programs. They're just there as, you know, huge help to making that happen. But what are these family programs? So we have pictured this, which is on our first Sunday of every month um, at 1 o'clock. It happens about 1 to, to, to 3. Um, and we do a little tour in the museum, and then they do an art-making project over in the Education Center. And docents are there helping us do that. So, nice. And so yeah. what, are there any age limits to this, a lower limit or a higher limit? No, I don't turn anyone mm -hmm. away. We say usually 6 to 12, but I usually don't turn anyone away. I mean, I think we, yesterday we had, you know, three-year-olds. We don't turn anyone away. Nice. We, we'll, make, we'll make it happen. Mm -hmm. Great. So. And what is the time commitment for docents? Can I just come in for two hours a week if I want to? Could I put 20 hours a week in if I've got the time? There are, um, the basic requirements are um, putting in 50 hours a year at the museum and then uh, 15 hours of education programs as well. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So. And can they pick these educational programs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have a, uh, a, quite a long list of different ways that docents can be involved with with the museum and with the community. Right. And the Museum of Art, I mean, it's, it's getting pretty big. Museum as Sanctuary was covered by BBC. Yes. Yeah. Worldwide. Yes. Right? So tell yeah. us a little bit about that. So that's our refugee program that we do at the Hobie Foundation Allen Panther Project. Mm -hmm. um, and we do it on Tuesday nights at the museum. They actually have the museum to themselves. Um, but we work with refugees that are uh, survivors of torture and trauma. Um, and we've been working with them for four years now. So we're, in our, um, we're going into our 
fourth year. So um, we we did an, a, a display of all of their work for the first three years, and actually we'll be doing another one next summer. So we're looking forward That's to having them That's wonderful for back. the morale yes. for the community. That's yeah. amazing. We're welcoming, them, we're welcoming them to Tucson and making them feel like this right. is their new home. It's mm -hmm. an amazing program. Yeah. Um, when you had the exhibit last year at the Museum of the Artwork that they'd created, um, I was talking to a couple of them, and they said, now this is my museum, mm -hmm. Wow! which I thought was terrific. They do. They refer That's to it touching. as my museum. Yeah. Yeah. It's neat. Yeah. They're like, we're going to the museum. Which museum? My museum. So, That's cool. Yeah, it's really neat. They, well, they really feel at home there. Well, thank you both for joining us this yeah. morning and telling us about how people can become volunteers and just really how cool and educational it can be. Yes. I watch you guys. <laughs> you are so we cute. You. Thank if you. you're interested in joining the Tucson Museum of Art as a volunteer, you're invited to their informational coffee event on September 17th at 10 a.m. For more information, you can call 624-2333 or visit their website, tucsonmuseumofart.org. Still to come, the search is on for local artists to help a nonprofit group raise much-needed funds. We'll tell you all about it when we come back.